We. Oh, oh, oh no, what's happening? Okay. Jesus, panic mode for a second there when it didn't quite work yet. Alright, so I'm gonna go. It's a quest called uh, Find Crayons for the Kids, which seems silly. But why not? I'll go take care of it. Also, someone looks like they're in need of defense down there. Too bad. But anyway, the reason why I'm starting this episode before I'm actually at my goal is because I wanted to show you this thing, because, uh, guys, I don't, I don't want to alarm you, but, uh, just so you guys know. Ow, fuck. One second here. I don't, don't want to alarm you guys, but I'm Spider-Man. Da -da -da. So that's pretty fucking cool. There's that grappling hook that they made a point to say that I have now, and I just kind of... I, when, I, when I did the session for the last episode I did, uh, I just kind of forgot about it immediately. My bad. So there's a so there's something going on over here. Oh yeah, this is for gathering supplies for the bomb I'm supposed to craft. So I might as well... They're going to specifically signify that there's something potentially in here. I might as well take a look-see. Because I'm supposed to... I'm, oh yeah, I can just go hop -ta. There we go. My goal is to find supplies for a bomb. It's just one of my many goals I'm working on. And it specifically points me in this area, which suggests that th maybe this is a reliable spot to find it. I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up, and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. Huh. I... I may have misjudged which quest I was involved in. I thought it was the... guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. Really? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Right. Come here. Okay, we'll get you to the other side. Right, when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. Alrighty, so that's the next step in the Savior's quest, the next uh, main story quest. Not exactly my goal right now, but that was my mistake. I misinterpreted what was going on there. Whee! That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so on board. Uh oh, that was not, I was less on board for that part. Anyone gonna kill me right now? Okay, that guy's on his way, but I'll, I'll be out of here in a moment. Whee! <laughs> so dumb, so dumb. But that's fine. This game doesn't need to take itself seriously. I'm I'm so I'm on board for dumb. This is where the game starts going into shadow of Mordor territory, where you just become crazy powerful and start having crazy abilities all the time. And I am so psyched about that. Uh oh, oh I'm, I'm fine. Wow, I'm, did I go the wrong way or something? I thought I was like 60 seconds or something away from being at the uh, the kids' quest. And clearly I was wrong. Oh well. Just gonna enjoy a mystical little adventure where I get the screen covered with creep, freaky, blurred droplets. And there's a special infected right over here. Oh, there he is. You're not getting me. Not that easy. Oh, he got me. Turns out, turns out it was easy. But I got him back. Exactly, that's how we roll around here. Okay. What am I doing hopping over a wall like a plebeian? I have a fucking grappling hook. I can be like, wham! Wow, I'll never have to spend 17 years trying to climb a building ever again. I can just grappling hook right to the top if it's not covered in barbed wire, which it will probably be covered with, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, hop on down. Keep the concept simple. Praise. Yes, uh, we don't want to break in. Hey, boys, what are we into this time? Do you understand what a battery is? Tall guy, you're overwhelming him! <sighs> Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. <sighs> okay, we need bus batteries with marine grade plates and rated at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. 
Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him angry. We will need three of them. Oh, you can use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are, to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid, what else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? Who knows? You have your instructions. Go do your uh, interpretation of them. That was great. Uh, he's an American. Metric system makes him angry. <laughs> we should start looking. I just want to talk. Camera. Try listening. That one seems. The first strange. bullet goes over if your you head. The next one goes least. through it. Does, Stop it, Edward. Either. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in. Come in. Did, did he just call me Falafel? I'm Errol. Kyle Crane. This is my niece, Salier, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We're being pursued by some very ruthless men. There's something oddly familiar about you. There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. Governor of nothing, but Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered my execution. They nearly killed me once already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Oh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else. At any price. And I'll think about it. Well, I mean, I like... I like I like being paid for things. I gotta say though, if you're if you're in so much danger of being executed, maybe don't hang out in front of an open door. I get that maybe it was closed when I sh before I showed up, but still, like they just op they casually opened the door as I approached, and then he's in direct line of sight to get shot in the face. Got, got a note over here, note number sixteen. Don't mind if I do. I think I saw another one around the corner too. We'll see in a second. Telecode secure transmission number 201401356950D0? I don't know. Errol Asani, Governor of Haran. Urgency level maximum. Begin message. There is a critical GRE communique. We can now confirm that the antiviral drug antizin has proven an effective inhibitor of the Haran virus. While not a cure, regular admission, at bleh, administration of antizin will prevent the onset of the most serious effects associated with the Haran pathogen. The GRE is working with several pharmaceutical manufacturers to ramp up production of antizin to meet the urgent needs of the Haran people. Beginning in 14... At 14.30 this afternoon, most GRE support airdrops will now include antizin, along with basic supplies. Detailed instructions for proper uh, dosage and use will be included. In light of this important development, we are no longer recommending limb amputation as a means to prevent the onset of Haran virus syndrome. Please coordinate your office with the mayor and other local office officials to make this information known to the public as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna find out that you don't have to amputate people's limbs anymore, it's good to get that information out as fast as possible before, and you be- You don't want to be the last guy that was had a limb amputated before they figured that out, is what I'm saying. That'd be pretty- That'd be kind of a bummer. Ooh, crayons. This is the crayons I needed for another quest. That's why- that's the reason I came here. For a second there, I thought- <laughs> For a second there, I thought the, uh, this important quest was gonna be like, Can you find us some crayons? But no, this was the, uh, location where I was finding crayons for another quest. So, in, tr in true MMO fashion, I'm here because I was sent here from the tower to find crayons, and then I find t n none other than the actual leader of the local government before everything went to shit. Doing a quick look around because there could be other cool stuff around. It looks like we have another note here. Note number 17. What a coincidence. Next in the sequence. It's almost as if they're in the same room together. Uh, Dear Errol, 
I know how busy you must be with this terrible crisis going on, but I have no one else to turn to. Hassad has, was killed yesterday by a sick person, and this morning my daughter, uh, Sal- I'm sorry, I can't, I, Saliha? This, this, first, I don't know what's wrong with this television, but I can't read shit. <laughs> And her son, Aaron, showed up by, at my door after her husband was shot dead by a neighbor who thought he was infected. There is little I can do for them, but perhaps you could. You know me, brother. I have never tried to take advantage of your station to, to profit myself, but this one time I must. Please take Sal- uh, Saliha and Aaron away from here. They say there is no way to cut out of the city, but if there's an exception, it will be for you. I am comfortable in remaining in Haran, but I can't stand the thought of my lovely daughter and grandson being attacked by those terrible things out there. They are your blood, and are good people, and worthy of your mercy. Please take them in your care, I know you will, and you have my deepest gratitude. Your loving sister, Phyllis. So that's an explanation of why there's two kids just hanging out in this room. Those must be the two... The two family members? Yep. Male and female, daughter and, daughter and son. Obviously one is a lot older than the other one. If, we're, if these are the people I think they are. I'm shining a light directly into their face because I'm a great person. Uh, so obviously they never made it out. There wasn't even an exception for the governor. So let's take a quick look at the local area. And figure out what to do here. Find crayons for the kids. What the f- how many, how, many, how many crayons do I need? There's no more crayons, right? Oh, what's down there? That's my player stash. Don't need that. I only have three out of five crayons. Is there somewhere else to find crayons? Because I feel like I've been thorough here. There's nothing coming up on my weird Batman sense of magic and Batmanness. Do you guys have crayons? Can I steal them from you? Can I rip them from your bloody corpse? Okay, whatever. Uh, seems to make sense that I'm gonna just gonna move on to something else then. So what, what do we have in the local area? I can go over here for bomb materials. Find Han- oh, find Hansen's group in the slabs. All right, that sounds... Go to the slabs, which... Oh, that's a different quest marker altogether. So there's a number of things to do up there, so... I'm gonna say, let's just fucking go for it. Because I'm spi- Aw. I can't use my grappling hook in a safe area? Weird. So one thing that's awkward about the grappling hook is the fact that it's, uh... It's it's your it's it's using your item slot. So shield and grappling hook, with bo- which both seem like new mechanics that would be relatively, like... Hang on a second, let's, let's deal with the fact that I have a fucking quest marker. There we go. Uh, I had a waypoint that was in the way. Uh, you would think that shield and grappling hook would be pretty vital commands that you'd maybe give their own button to or something. But shield and grappling hook are actually both, uh, they're both items. Just like the Molotov and grenade and all those things that you associate with consumables. So that you, that you, they go into your left, uh, they go into your left trigger slot. And, are, and you have to switch to them by using left on the D-pad to toggle through all of your consumables until you get to the grappling hook, for example. Which is a little awkward, because that means that if you are if you use a, if you throw a Molotov in, a com- in combat, but then people are coming up on you. Well, this is a cool little sequence to platform on, by the way. If, if someone's attacking you, and you use Molotov or something, but then it's like things get too hairy and you have to get out of there, you have to awkwardly press left on the D-pad a few times to scroll to your grappling hook, and then to activate it, instead of just pressing a button for it. So that makes... That, it's cool to have the grappling hook, but it's still one step below... I would still place it one step below, uh... What do you call it? What's going on over there? I don't, I'm just gonna move on for now. Uh, it puts it one step below Shadow of Mordor in my book, because that game had all these crazy abilities and mobility things, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get some, uh, experience right here. Hey guys, how's it going? You're all on fire. Suck it. So much experience is happening right now, cause you're all stupid zombies, I'm checking for loot. Nothing around here? No? Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me, just gonna brain you real quick. Oh god, it's going straight for me. Does this guy have a breakable back thing? Hey friend, charge attack. There we go, oh my god, his head came off. That's fine, that's fine. Can I just knock this dude over? Okay, things are getting a little messy over here. Haha! Surprise grappling attack. This is not reasonable uh, us- usage of my resources, by the way. This is essentially me grinding, but just just, just jumping headfirst into a random zombie fight just kind of seemed like a fun thing to do for a moment. And then things escalated a bit. Wow, that guy caught some air. I'm about to ruin my weapon, by the way. Oh wow, this person's still persisting, are they? 
taken down. This guy's still alive. Didn't you just go sailing through the air like for 50 years? I'm surprised he survived that. Might as well do a little bit of looting. Those sounds are bad though. Those sounds indicate someone's on their way after me, which is weird because I didn't blow anything up as far as I know. You can craft a new item. Goody. It's good for me to grab resources from bodies though. Oh god! Hey friend. How's it going? Do you want to just go ahead and fucking not fall over or something? There you go, you're on fire. Did that work? Oh shit, they run around the fire. They're smart. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But thankfully, their heads come off pretty easy, so, you know, improvising. Uh, things are getting hairy over here. Right now, I'm just trying to loot some of these bodies. Everything's being pesky and dangerous all the time. Why I gotta do that, nature? Actually, probably valid to call it nature, too, because it's freaky virus in this, and it's a v crazy virus in this particular form of zombie fiction. Taking off heads! Taking off heads! It's, nope. Nope. Is it head, head gone yet? Jesus, there's so many of them. I keep thinking, oh, I'll clear this, if I just clear this uh, this area a little bit, I'll be able to loot all these bodies, and then I won't be wasting everyone's time, and then every time I think it's time to loot someone's body, uh, suddenly there's 15 billion new guys around. Alright. Should I go fast? Should I go faster? What if I, uh, what if I use camouflage? There we go. Now you guys will leave me alone for a second so I can finish off the, uh, the rewards for my previous actions without dealing with any more of you. I have a lot of med kits, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend one. Alright, let's head towards the slabs to com to get progress on this quest, because I've been here long enough, I think. Go ahead and switch to, uh, grappling hook. Be ready for mobility when I want to. Can I, can I go all the way up there? Is that, a, is that a possible? Oh my god, I can. That's awesome. Alright. Oh god, there's a bad guy up there. Alright. I will ruin his day. Grappling hook by the- oh god, there's two of them. Time to fix that, time to fix that. Okay. Is there one down there? Yes, there probably is. Let's loot this guy real quick. I'll deal with this guy in a second. Hey, asshole. Thankfully, the little spitter guys are not very hardy. Is he down yet? He's down now, that's for sure. His head exploded. It's my favorite thing to do. Okay. Open up. Need some lockpicking. This isn't necessarily related to a quest, but let's explore. A little bit of open world magic. That's like part of the reason to get the game right. Anything in here? These look vital. Ooh, medical supplies. I found where someone was stashing airdrops. Flares and medical supplies. These are all good things. Ooh. What's that? There's a purple. Let's go find what that is indicating. Is it a hard is it like a hard lock pick? Yes it is. My favorite. We're just gonna take it slow and methodical. Alright, the left side's bullshit so far. Left side's probably mostly bullshit. Oh, this right side's a little less bullshit. Oh, whoa, that freaked out on your screen too, right? Everyone saw that? I don't know why I'm asking that, as if we could possibly see different things, but... Whoa, that was weird. What's my cool reward? Hopefully I get- oh, it's a paddle. I mean, croquet. Superior cricket bat. Cricket, not cro- not paddle, not croquet, dummy. All we got was the pouch. The pouch is good money, potentially. I can grab this and throw it for no good reason. That'll be fun. Hey, guys. Some, oh, wow. It didn't even explode. Oh, look. It's the uh, safe house that I died in multiple times. So my, go my goal is go to the slabs. What do I do in the slabs? Also, how do I get out of here without dying? There must be something to... to, to oh, God. Careful. If I do this right, I might be able to grab onto something with my... My grappling hook, maybe? Here we go. Some new gear. Anyone in here? Hey! You sell stuff. At the very least, I can buy more, uh, let's see, power cable. I need some of those for, uh, yeah, I need, I need power cables. I need power cables and I need household appliances or whatever it's called so I can properly stack my, do the, the quest I'm doing. One of the many quests. Okay. The quest, the quest really does just say go to the slabs. I'm like, well, I'm in the slabs now. I did it. May ha so cleanse and desist. Take a looky. So somewhere around here is my slabs quest. Over here is uh, gather three batteries from the buses in the main... Alright. I'll go ahead and do that. It's the next building over. Which one is the actual quest for? I wish you could... I wish this game had the thing from uh, from Dragon Age. 
Dra in Dragon Age, thankfully, if you click on a quest objective marker on the map, it just automatically makes that your current quest. But you have to fi in this game, you have to find it in your quest log after locating on the map. So I often find it handy just to do whatever's close by. So those assholes that think I'm an idiot that can't process basic human speech and don't understand what batteries are and stuff, uh, want me to go get some three get three batteries around here. I'm going to oblige them for some reason, even though they treat me like dirt, because that's a good reason. If yeah, that, that's good, good tip, especially for women. If everyone, if everyone treats you really terribly and is demeaning to you, you better do everything that they want, because then eventually you can prove them yourselves to them. And that's what you should do in life, right? This is reasonable. So this weapon's broken. Oh wow, this weapon actually broke. It's the first time in a while I had to worry about that. So, my upgraded carving hammer that does a uh, that did like a what is it like 140 damage I think is now broken. So I'm just gonna dismantle it because I cannot repair it at this point. Go ahead and equip something else. Uh, 144 damage. 130. I want to go go ahead and get this iron pick on me. So what does the most damage right now? I've uh. My highest damage weapon is the is the machete, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and use that for now. But I have my alternate weapons if I need them. Running across. If we're gonna do anything around here. We're gonna take out any of these pesky special infected before they can cause me any more problems. Let's take a look if there's anything cool in here. If I found if I found house household supplies, I should be able to finish the the bomb quest that I'm midway through right now. Thankfully, from a Let's Playing perspective, I can just sort of brute force my way through these uh, lockpicking sections pretty quickly and not can be concerned about the uh, cost. Speaking. Remember, if you cannot reach the tower in time, get your ass to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good luck. Sounds like it's getting a bit late. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, oh, there's a few enemies around here. Okay. Get three batteries from the buses. The, okay, the, from the buses. So I need to, do I open up the front of the bus? Okay, I need to clear out some of these guys, clearly. They're being pesky. Thankfully, I've got a scary lightning machete. Oh, Jesus, yeah, I just, I one-shot most of these guys. Keep a quick lookout, just because any of these guys could drop household uh, appliances, which would be very handy to get. Before I proceed, I might as well just take out the big guy, I think. Just wreck his shit. Wow, I am getting... My character's getting very good at this. Ow. Less good at this. Did someone get behind me? What happened there? Nope, no one's behind me. Okay. I thought someone got in my way and I dodged into them and missed. But nope, that was just me either timing it right, wrong or not being able to go far enough. Is this guy still alive? Oh, he's alive. Shit. Fix that. You go for that headshot. It's really effective with this lightning weapon. Oh, less effective. Oh, I was hoping that... I was hoping the big guy was going to kill him because he was doing this big scary swing. Yep, oh, yep, big number, big amount of experience means I've won the fight. Alright, with the, with the, uh, three spitters and this guy out of the way, there is a good chance that I am now clear to proceed. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, goody. Well, maybe I won't, maybe he won't notice me? I don't know. Let's look for our batteries real quick. I can at least get one of them, right? Uh-oh. Easy lockpicking. Uh, uh, uh. Go right a little bit. You're right, that was easy. Is he after me? No. Does not appear to have noticed me. Open up. Let's go for that battery. Also, just, you know, generally scan the in inside for anything cool. Search in here. Picked up a car battery. Picked up... Oh, $16. I'm a nice little thief. My favorite thing to do. Any of these have uh, household supplies in them? Just metal parts? I mean, I'll take them. Whoa. He just, let, he just lit that thing on fire and he didn't even swing his weapon. He, like... Started the throwing animation, but then just sort of gave up on it a second later. Is he right behind me? Nope, he's not really moving. Okay. Just doing a quick look-see around for anything good. Because if I get household supplies... I'm hoping to get the household supplies without actively searching for them, because I, kn I know I've had them in the past. But right now I don't have enough for the quest that wants me to get them. Anything behind me? Oh shit, there is. And now she's taken care of, right? There we go. Can I, can I search the body? This is the tower. If you still haven't made it to someplace safe, do it now. That's more continued warning that's about to come nighttime and much shittier for me. So let's just let's try to hurry along with this whole process of finding batteries, I say, while continuing to search all this luggage for tiny quantities of money. This is terrible decision making, just so you guys know. 
This is what we in the biz call a bad plan. Alright, so, oh, maybe it's in here. Car, uh, car battery? Hey, car battery, success. So what else is local? Well, I, I, know, what, what, I know one thing that's local is that there's a safe house right here, so I'm gonna make that my priority. I'm Spider-Man! So yeah, last episode was pretty embarrassing because I clearly could have just used my grappling hook to just hop up to the next floor in a second, but instead went crazy through platforming. The funny thing is, I, I, don't, I don't know for sure, but that quest might have only been available because of the grappling hook too. They might have specifically expected me to have it. Although I guess that might have been a bad, that would be a bad idea because for all they know, I could just, I could easily just not bring one with me. Take a quick look, see at this guy's stuff, just because I might be able to buy stuff. No, he doesn't. He did not restock on a uh, on healing stuff. Might want to sell some stuff for inventory space, though. This is uh oh, the iron pick I'm using currently equipped is slightly shittier. Okay, I'll get rid of it. Why not? Oh yeah, sell valuables absolutely for like two thousand gold. I'll take it. Uh, one forty-five. Does that say one eighteen? Uh, or uh. This one says something higher, right? Yeah, it's 183. This is a terrible machete by comparison. And I don't know if I... Yeah, this cricket bat's not very good either. Okay. Just clearing out a, a few spots. Five throwing knives are not really worth their own slot. So I'm just going to get rid of those two. There we... Oh! To do them all at once. There we go. Let's go ahead and skip to the morning. So I can proceed with my questing. 